Small sided game, coach defend as a team. Organisation for a small sided game. Try and coach the key defending principles of compactness, depth, balance, delay, deflect and patience. Adopt a coach position that allows you to see all of the play. Have a start point where the opposition have the ball in their defensive third. If they have good possession, Encourage the team to adopt a compact shape and get behind the ball. Here you can see the team are compact and behind the ball. Coaching the forward unit. The coach takes a position where they can easily work with the forward unit. Here the opposition have good possession. The forwards cannot easily pressure the ball, so they drift across to take positions that make it difficult for the opposition to play the ball forward centrally. They are patient and balanced and try and deflect the play back across the pitch. As the ball travels, the forwards travel with the ball, trying to deflect the play across the pitch and to make it difficult for the ball to be played forward centrally. The forwards react to the movement of the ball and travel across the pitch, remaining balanced and communicating with each other to make it difficult for the ball to be played forward centrally into key attacking areas. If there is a trigger such as a slow ball or a poor pass or poor control, the nearest forward pressures the ball and the second forward backs them up. They hunt together. Coaching the midfield unit. The coach now takes a position where they can see the midfield and the forward units easily. The coach should check that the midfield adopt positions in relation to the ball and the opposition players. They should be in positions that enable them to cover and track runners and pressure the ball. As the ball is moved, the midfield players and the forwards move together as one unit. If they can't pressure the ball, they should look to delay play, be compact and make it difficult for the ball to be played forward centrally. If the ball is forced backwards, they move together as a unit and remain compact. If the ball is played into a midfield player, the nearest midfield player pressures the ball, the second covers and the forwards recover to pressure from the front. Here the ball is played into a wide area and the nearest midfield player travels across to delay play, the second midfield player provides cover and the forward drops into midfield to retain their balance and to remain compact. If the ball is played tight into midfield, the nearest midfield player pressures, the second covers and the forwards recover to provide pressure from the front. Coaching the defensive unit. The coach should adopt a position that allows them to see all of the play. The defensive unit and the goalkeeper should adopt positions that are in relation to where the ball is. As the ball travels, the defensive unit and the midfield and forwards 
react together to remain compact and balanced. They should be in a position to comfortably deal with any long passes behind them and to be able to pressure any balls that are played into forwards feet and to provide cover behind the pressurising player. The midfield and the forwards recover and pressure from the front. With any long balls, the nearest defender applies pressure and the two other defenders provide early cover behind the ball in the key central attacking area. As the ball is not long, the midfield players react to recover and to track any runners, as do the forwards. If the ball goes backwards or square, the forwards and the goalkeeper push the play up to compact the play and look to drop early if any balls are looked to knocked be knocked in behind them. Coaching in free play. The coach should now adopt a position that allows them to see all of the play. They should be checking to see the team react together they are compact, balanced and have depth in relation to where the ball is. Any long balls, there should be pressure on the ball and early cover in the key defensive areas. Midfield players should look to track runners and recover.